All right, I just got some more books back from CGC, this time in the standard tier. I'm looking forward to seeing the grades, and I hope you are too. And we're going to get started here with Tomb of Dracula, number 10, which of course contains the first appearance of Blade. Now this is an interesting book to figure out what the grade is. I made a deal with someone like I've done before where I uh, will adjust what I paid depending on how good the grade comes out. Uh, but this looks really nice, but it does have some flaws that will affect the grade. You know, there's a stain here on the moon. Um, there's some pin marks crossing out the 20 cents and just a little bit of chipping and definitely some stains on the back. Um, and so I think those are going to hit it, uh, you know, you know, quite a bit. Uh, I started off buying this at a 5.0. And so if it's around there, you know. I'll be happy, and he'll be happy. It won't be you know, that big a deal either way. And I'll just make up a few dollars on, on the other side. But let's see what we got. Something point five, only one piece of tape. Hopefully it's a 5.5 and not a 4.5. Oh, man, let's see. Or it is a 4.5. So a little disappointing, uh, but not too bad. But it's, it's a, yeah, a, a great book. Uh, and definitely looks really nice. It's one that I've wanted in my collection for a long time. And uh, I've got some other books that went in the economy tier that who knows when they'll ever come back. Um, but that, that uh, I'll eventually get back and then we'll kind of make up the difference uh, once that happens. All right. Well, next up, we have The Amazing Spider-Man number 129, which is one of my all-time favorite books, The First Appearance of the Punisher. It's a book that I have wanted for a long, long time. It's another one where I made that deal with, uh, that it's a, you know, a 5.0, and then you know this is with a different seller, and we'll adjust depending on how it comes back. Uh, and uh, it looks really nice, except for it has a pretty significant crease on the back cover that I think that, just in of itself, knocks it down to a 6.0. 0.5 or so. I've got something similar to that. And then a stain. And then I can't tell if this is, looks like maybe some color rub. Hopefully that's not a tear. Um, but it, it, yeah, if it's a 5.0, um, I'm going to be happy. Anything better than that, yeah, both of us will be uh, really happy. So let's see what we got. 5.0 perfectly. All right. Okay. So uh, right on the money. Uh, we don't have to adjust one way or the other. And just like the Tomb of Dracula, uh, for 5.0, it looks really good. And that's always what I'm hoping for. Yeah, I'm hoping that, that I can get, you know, when I buy books raw, that you know, the, 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 it presents better than the grade ends up being um, so that I can get uh, into it for a more affordable price. So super happy about this one. And this next book is one that I did not make the deal on. Uh, so I'm just in, out of luck if this doesn't come out very good. Uh, but it's Amazing Spider-Man number 300, which of course is this iconic McFarlane cover and contains the first appearance maybe of Venom. I don't know about that, but yeah, that's what's considered to be his first appearance now. Uh, but I bought it at a price that as long as it comes back an 8.5, yeah, I'll be fine but i'm hoping that it could get into the nines uh it definitely yeah you know, has some spine ticks the worst of it being the back cover is black and so it shows you know more than it does on the front uh, but this is also a newsstand copy so that's pretty exciting so let's hopefully for, get at least 8.5 and hope 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 into the nines i'll be super happy if i get in the nines Whoa, a 9.4. Wow, that is super exciting. I did not expect that. I did think it had a good shot at a 9.0 and maybe a 9.2, but I thought a 9.2 was where it was capped at. And boy, a 9.4 newsstand, amazing Spider-Man number 300. I could not be happier. And that makes up for yeah the little disappointment on the, the tomb of Dracula. All right, well, those are the three books I got back. But since you know, there weren't too many from CGC, I did want to show off just some books that I got in another recent haul. I'm staying with Amazing Spider-Man. 
I got Amazing Spider-Man Annual number 22, which I think is a good book to pick up for cheap, uh, to spec on, or just to add a cool key to your collection because it's the first appearance of Speedball. And this was a character that I really loved as a kid. Uh, he was just really goofy and he's kind of cool. He was kind of the skateboarder guy and that was all the rage you know, in the 90s when, when, I, when I was growing up. And he also has like <laughs> one of the most tragic stories in comic books. So if you know his story, and he's like this goofy guy, and then uh, what started Civil War was that he was in this conflict in his team, the New Warriors, with these bad guys, and you know, up in this explosion, and a lot of kids getting killed, and that then led to the Registration Act. Well, he survived that blast, but he was the only one who did from his team, uh, and the way his powers are activated are by you know, touch, you know, like gives him kinetic energy. And so he felt so guilty about what happened to those kids and about how he was the only one that survived out of his teammates that he transformed from a speedball into penance, which is what he would do, would wear this outfit that had like nails in it, basically. And whenever he wanted to activate his powers, he would just, I guess, push a switch. I can't remember what happened. But then the nails would all go to him and activate his powers. And he just went from this super goofball character to this super dark character. And so a really interesting story arc. And uh, so I'm super happy to have his first appearance. And in addition to that one, we got a bunch of Iron Man. Uh, all, from this, all this is from the same seller. First of all, issue number 12, which is the first appearance of the Controller, who I think is a really fun villain. Uh, one of the most underrated kind of C, maybe D tier list villains. Uh, he has these discs that he puts on you, can kind of mind control you. I hope we get him in something like Armor Wars. Uh, you know, I don't. I certainly don't think he'll be. I mean, yeah, MCU can surprise me. I don't think he'll be a, a villain that can carry a movie, uh, but I think he'd be a great fit in uh, like a special event. We also have Iron Man number seventeen, which contains the first appearance of Madame Mask, and this is a book I already have a copy of, but it's a better, uh, yeah, it's a better condition one, and so I'll sell that one and upgrade to this one. We have Iron Man number 163, which contains the first cameo appearance of Obadiah Stane, who goes on to become the Ironmonger. And speaking of the Ironmonger, we have issue number 200, which is where he dies. Of course, this guy was the first villain in the first Iron Man movie. And then finally, we have Iron Man number 282, which contains the first full appearance of the War Machine armor and this awesome cover. I now have several copies of this, and... I have one off at CGC, and uh, it's good enough. And this one might be good enough to send off. I'll, I'm going to see what the other one got, uh, and I'll sell this one probably. Uh, but I got it at a good price, and I think by selling this, what I got it from, the profit will kind of cover uh, the rest. And that's, of course, what I what I try to do, what many of us try to do to, uh, to get the hobby to pay for itself as much as possible. And so hopefully that will work out. So hope you enjoyed seeing all these comics in this unboxing. Of course, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, I'd appreciate if you'd consider doing so. Like the video, comment on which of these books was your favorite or a book that you're excited about or anything else about comics. And thanks for watching, and I look forward to the next one.